Rod Baker with God and Rod. So it's close to noon here in Spain on the 18th and um, <clears throat> and I'm leaving a place that I've been a couple of days, a small village with a beautiful villa that accommodated me for two days of such kindness. And the wonderful part about about um, enduring all this kindness is not that I that it's something that I lack or that there's something missing or something that I don't have. It's it's not like that at all. <laughs> How beautiful, how beautiful. But the thing about it is, is, <clears throat> and I was talking last night about it, about that scripture, the most famous scripture that there is in the Bible of John three sixteen. For God so loved the world. that he gave us his only begotten son, the one that he got, that he gave us his only begotten son that we should not perish, but have everlasting life. And so I was understanding people talking about that in the sense of that, you know, it meant you were going to live on and on and on, you know, pearly gates, streets of gold, yada, yada, sleeping on clouds, whatever it was that people would come up with as their everlasting life. You're going to have life everlasting no matter what. The question is, is will it perish you? Will it continue to overwhelm you will it continue to bog you down will it continue to make you live in fear see that's the thing is is we think you know people have been thinking that everlasting life means oh well i get to live forever and other people don't well that's not true everybody has an eternity but where are you going to spend it what are you going to be doing during that eternity that's the real question that's true. We've made up time ourselves. We're the one that has put the appointments, <laughs> time frames, <laughs> limits to ourselves. That's what we do with time. We limit ourselves. Living by the clock, by the minute hand. Nay, nay, I refuse to live by the time. With God, there is no time. There's only seasons. Everlasting life is a life that love, perfect love, perfect love casteth out. I've not been given a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. When you don't have that sound mind, when you don't, when you forget the power that you've been given, when you don't see yourself with love, with patience, with kindness, not jealous, not envious, not boastful. Not seek, you know, don't seek unrighteousness, but seek the truth. Then rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoice in the truth. Believes all things, hopes all things, trusts all things. Love never fails, and it doesn't. Love doesn't fail. Just because you think 
you wanted something so bad and you think because you didn't get that, that that means that your love failed. You're full of it. You're immature. You're unthinking. Because love never fails. But the first thing you're supposed to love, you've got to love who is love. It's God. Or whatever it is that's bigger than you, whatever power that's greater than yourself. That's what you must love first and foremost. That's what tells you who you are. It's not people that tell you who you are. The only way to listen to those, the only reason you should even listen to other people about who you are is if that it aligns with what God says you are. Everlasting life is about overcoming fear at every turn. Truly living life in love. And kindness is love. So don't be jealous. <laughs> be patient. Someday you'll get here. Don't be jealous. Because these people are kind to me. All people are kind to me. If you're not kind, you don't last very long around me. You truly don't. Doesn't matter how much I love you. Doesn't matter how patient I am. you're not kind to me I don't even remember who you are confirmed by the B in Ramsey <laughs> confirmation 